At least 26 of the 87 killed in Europe's deadliest wildfire in decades die just yards from survivors who made it to the sea. Parents huddled with their children in an attempt to shield them from the flames in Mahdi, Greece, as they perished 30 steps from a gate that led others to safety. Christiana Fragu had urged scores of people into her garden after seeing they were trapped in the streets with the hope of helping them escape to the water. After more than 30 people burst in, Mrs. Fragu and her family made it down to the beach. But she is haunted by the screams she heard coming from those who didn't get out of her garden as she watched fire engulf the four acre plot. The Times reports. Neighbor Carmen Pratamianos was one of the last to make it down the cliff and said, I heard them all crying. I had to cover my ears because I couldn't bear the sound of their suffering. On Tuesday morning, Red Cross volunteers found bodies scorched by temperatures that climbed higher than 1,600 C. Vasilis Adrapaulo said members of his team collapsed at the gruesome site in what he said was one of the most tragic moments of his life. Share this article share barely 30 steps from the gate that led others to safety, there remains sad clinging to one another amid the devastation. National cycling champion Avita Fitru, 13, jumped off a cliff and to her death during the inferno. Her father, Grigoris, and 10-year-old brother, Andreas, were in the garden. Their charred remains were found near the gate. But her mother, Varvara, had left Mati for work when the fire struck. Although she was safe, she described on social media the harrowing final phone call with her son. I can see my daughter's face, she said. I can still hear my son's trembling voice in our last conversation. He told me, Mom, I'm scared. But don't you worry. I will be strong. I tried to reach them. I did my best. But I didn't manage to get there in time. I have lost everything. Mrs. Fragu's son, Eason, says his mother is traumatized for life as police continue to investigate the garden, where melted shoes and mobile phones sit next to dog carcasses. Last night, volunteers found more human remains. The tiny size of some remains mean they have to return to areas in which they have already searched to find missing people. The main highway was blocked as people tried to escape in cars, with side roads quickly becoming jammed. Most of those either died in their cars or perished trying to escape to the beach on foot when it was too late. Two nine-year-old twin girls are thought to have died in that part of town despite initial reports that fishermen had rescued them. They were holidaying with their grandparents, whose car was discovered near the Frangus's compound. Public Order Minister Nikos Toskas says that evidence points to arson, but government opponents have accused the regime of blaming criminality to deflect from their culpability for the tragedy. It comes after experts said great vulnerabilities such as chaotic town planning should have been foreseen. They have also pointed to flaws in civil protection. Mahdi's homes often lack formal permission and have inadequate evacuation routes. Pine trees flanked the properties and served to fuel the fire as 50 mph winds blew their burning trunks to spread the blaze further.